Good afternoon, everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. Yes. So our today's topic is subtracting expressions. Subtract five x square minus four y square plus six y minus three from seven x square minus four x y plus eight y square plus five x minus three y. So why God? You should think. So, <clears throat> yes, so with the horizontal method, let's solve it. From whenever from comes, the second number you are going to place at the first and the, and the first number at the last. Right? So, subtract 3 from 7. So, 7 minus 3 you are going to do. Alright? So, first this. You have to just again insert the brackets and place the numbers inside the brackets from 7x square right so as I mentioned first we are gonna take that number it's just a waste of time writing again the question writing the question again minus 4xy plus 8y square plus 5x minus 3y minus this time it's minus 5x square minus 4y square plus 6y minus 3. So just concentrate. So the thing is, the first expression you are going to write as it is 7x square minus 4xy plus 8y square plus 5x minus 3y minus. Now you are going to take minus. Over here, the sign is plus. So minus into plus is minus. So all this term, as soon as you reach over here, from here onwards, the signs keep changing. But the numbers don't, the expressions, the terms don't change. Whereas the numbers, whereas the operations, the signs, the symbols basically change. Mass means plus. So this is 4y squared. This is plus, so it will turn minus. This is minus, this will turn plus. So make sure in subtraction, remember and don't forget to change the signs. It's very important. If you do not change the sign, then the complete question, you're going to just do it in blender way. Right? So the next question is grouping the like terms. So 7x squared, what is the like term? Yes, minus 5x squared. I'll just write it now. Next. Minus 4xy, what is the like term? Do you have any like term? Mm. No, so basically you're just gonna keep it like that. So why do we have to use a sort of all of these? Next, there is no. So eight y square is there any? Yes, plus five plus four y square plus eight y square plus four y square. So next, plus five x is there any? No. Now, you might be thinking, plus 5x and minus 5x square, plus and minus can be cancelled. No. Because over here, x has the power of 1, whereas here, the x has the power of 2. If this also had the power of 2, then we could have. So, you know, done. Okay. So, next, minus 3y minus 6y plus 3. So, we have to tell. Make sure that you don't miss out any of the term. Okay. From these. So the next 7 minus 5. What's 7 minus 5? So you are gonna subtract the numerical values together or an x square that algebraic factors remain the same. 7 minus 5 is 2. So it will be 2. Why? Because plus plus 2, not minus 2, because 7 is greater than 5 and 7 has a sign of plus. Okay, next. Hmm. Minus 4xy as it is as I had told. Plus, plus, so same sign, so that sign itself. 8 plus 4 is 12. Y square. Minus, minus, same sign, so minus itself. 3. Now, when we have same signs, I'm going to add. Whether it's minus or plus. Okay, but they have same sign, so you're going to add. Minus 3y, minus 6y. What is the addition answer? Right. It's minus 9y. And plus 3. Now you have to arrange this in its standard form. So you are going to arrange it this way. 2x square plus 12y square. Now 12 is greater than 2. Then why haven't we placed this first? Because xy. 
with never so a b c d e f g h i j k l m f t q r s t u v w x y we never say y x so in this way okay then the second is minus 4 x y as i told the one with two variables will come first and minus 9 y and then constant at the last so this is the answer so we have solved it in the horizontal method now if we solve the same question in the vertical method or the column method let's see what's the answer let's just copy the paste down let me take 7x square minus 4xy plus 8y square minus 4xy plus 8y square plus 5x minus 3y minus just a minute minus make sure it's minus make sure it's minus don't commit any mistake over here no? 5x square minus 4y square so 5x square will be here then next is minus 4y square plus 6y so minus 4y square plus 6y accordingly you have to arrange the terms minus 3 so minus 3 over here so here 0 we can add here 0 we can add 0 when there are no so oh my god what is snake hmm so we are going to solve the column method so let's see 0 minus 3 minus 3 as it is so over here also if you see the answer was minus plus 3 at the last how come plus 3 is it plus 3 yes now over here we will not get plus 3 because as i told it's subtraction and just mentioning it you have to change the signs you have to change the signs so this is plus 5 so it will be this is minus this plus will change to minus minus will change to plus plus will change to minus plus will change to minus minus will change to plus so all the signs you have to change keep in mind okay so this will be plus 3 minus 3y minus 6y same sign minus itself 6 plus 3 9 minus 9y nine plus 5x minus 0 plus 5x plus 8y square plus 4y square so plus same sign 8 plus 4 12 y square minus 4xy minus 0 minus this 0 it's up to you this minus plus 0 will never have minus plus it you know, doesn't have so but just for your reference you have done it so this is not necessary actually when it comes in the case of 0 0 and all no need so 0 is 0 so minus 4xy so it will remain minus 4xy next Seven x square minus five x square. Seven minus five, and this is plus. So the second expression sign will change. Here the sign change will take place. Signs change. So two x square. So it will be plus. So our answer is there. And when we are gonna do it in a proper way, then the answer is two x square plus twelve y square minus four x y plus five x minus nine y plus three so this is the answer now as you all know practice makes a math perfect so we are here with few questions to solve these are two questions that i'll be solving in the next session till now for now it's done and thank you.